it's Cassie, artist in residence with Imagine. Today I'm going to show you how I made this mixed media heart. I'm starting with flexible modeling paste from Liquitex and um, a stencil from Prima uh, Finever line. So I'm just going to put the modeling paste through the stencil where I want it. I'm not covering the entire heart with this pattern. And I like to use the flexible modeling paste because for for pieces like this that aren't flat, uh, it really is a lot easier to work with. So next I'm going to use white gesso that I've uh, mixed with a little bit of water to thin it out. And I'm just going to cover the entire surface of the heart so we can put ink in and uh, paint later on. Next I'm using stone paste from Prima also from Vinever and I'm going to put this in the top crease of that heart so I can lay down some art stones inside it uh, and this is going to give me some nice texture. So once I have that paste where I want it then I'm taking the medium size art stones and I'm just sprinkling a little bit on here and there and kind of pressing them into that paste and then I'm going to do the same thing with the mini art stones. And when you put color and spray over these, they look really great. I'm also putting this um, texture paste over this right side here. I'm going to put a sentiment there later on. So I'd like to build that up. And then a couple of mini art stones. And then I'm doing the same thing on the bottom of the heart. I'm going to lay down the paste and then I'm going to put some larger art stones and um, the mini art stones down there and I'm just going to kind of press it into that paste so they stay in place. So once these are in you really want to just let them dry. So next I'm going to move on. This is a stamp set from Catherine Moore and I'm going to stamp it in Claire uh, Nocturne ink and I am stamping it onto Bristol paper. It's nice and thick, so it's going to hold up well for mixed media. I'm also using the Chianti ink, uh, Claire ink and stamping that little heart. And then I'm going to clear emboss that heart. And so once that's clear embossed, then I'm going to fussy cut both of those pieces. So the girl's body and that, that small heart will be fussy cut. So once that is done, I am going to take these zipper pieces and sort of um, shape them into a skirt, kind of. And here I'm using um, glue dots to put them together and sort of make a skirt shape. And then I'm using uh, Gorilla Glue to glue the body to the skirt. And here you can see I have four strips of zipper. Later I add three more, so I end up with seven. Uh, just fills it out a little bit nicer than it looks right now. So next I'm using on point glue and teeny tiny little rhinestones to fill in this heart. I'm doing silver rhinestones around the frame of the heart and then I'm going to do red rhinestones in the middle. Again using the same technique just putting some on point glue on the bottom or on the paper and then uh, filling it in with the rhinestones. This is um kind of like a sticky pencil that I'm using to pick them up. And then on top I am using uh, same technique with the glue and black rhinestones. So that'll be her bottom of her necklace. And then I did the same thing for the top part of her necklace with silver and like a hot pink color. So next I'm using Visible Images stamp set called Glimmer of Light. And I'm using the large and the um, small moth shapes and they're so gorgeous. I really really love these stamps. I, I stamped them several times so I could layer them and I'm going to fussy cut them as well and um, emboss them in black embossing powder. So now I'm using muted gray Liquitex soft body paint and I'm wetting it uh, with water as well to loosen it up and to allow the paint to go in the cracks. Next I'm using Ladybug um, fireworks shimmer spray uh, to fill in all of the white space so the whole heart is now covered. Next I am using the tuxedo black 
a firework spray and just splattering around. And that's nice because it dries with a silver shimmer. It's really gorgeous. Uh, and I'm using Creative Medium in purple here. And on dark colors, the purple and the turquoise, and I believe there's some other colors available, they really stand out really well. And so I really love when I am able to use them on dark colors. It's kind of like an interference color. So next I'm spraying some Goosebumps just in clear. I wanted to add a little bit more to her skirt, so I found this nice little lace um, accent and I'm spraying it with Tuxedo Black so that it's black. I don't want it to be white. Uh, and then I'm just kind of moving it around in the ink there to get it covered completely. And you want to make sure it's completely dry before you add it to the project. <clears throat> Next I'm using E6000 glue to glue that piece of lace to the the top of the skirt there. This glue is nice because it does dry quickly but it also is really flexible and allows me to uh, bend that lace and get it smushed down in there nicely. I'm also using it to glue the moth wings to the back of her neck so now she's got lovely wings. I just love this girl. I think that these two stamps together work really great and of course she needs to have a crown. So I have this metal crown from Tim Holtz Ideology line and I'm using E6000 again just to glue that uh, the top of her head which is paper to this metal and that works really well. So I have string attached to either side of this um, metal uh, sentiment that I have and I really wanted it to be red so I'm just taking my firework spray and painting the string red. There are so many uses for firework spray you don't have to just spray it. I'm also taking that same ladybug red and firework spray and painting the um, the zippers of her skirt. Now you can see I have seven, seven pieces of uh, zipper there. It fills it in quite nicely. Next I'm using the grape jelly and tuxedo black spray to spray this uh, sisal. Sisal is kind of like a straw and it, it provides a really wonderful lovely texture and I have a ton of it in a, a natural color so I can make it any color I like. Next I'm taking that grape jelly and just giving it a good splatter on the background and all of these things I'm doing to the background here is just adding more detail, more dimension, more texture and you're building one layer on top of another. Now look at this grape jelly. I keep spraying it in that one spot and look at how it stands out on that dark background. I am so impressed with this firework spray. Look at how gorgeous and it's got a nice purple shimmer to it. It's quite beautiful. So this stamp is from uh, Stampers Anonymous, Tim Holtz, and it, I'm inking it with um, the Claire and Nocturne and then I'm um, heat embossing with black to make it nice and shiny. And I did that on both sides of the girl just to help sort of draw your eye into uh, that part of the of the layout. So then I'm taking this um, sort of checkerboard stamp. I believe it's also a Tim Holtz stamp from um, Stampers Anonymous and I've got some Claire ink and Nocturne and I'm just randomly stamping all over the heart. I want to have the same shape sort of all over the place. It helps bring everything together and it helps um, move your eye around the layout as well. I also put it on this mat that I've created and then I'm taking the grape jelly firework spray and just painting that mat because I didn't think the color matched um, the project. So now I'm taking the sisal I colored earlier and that mat that I just colored and I'm going to use hot glue to adhere it to the project and make sure it's stuck down real well. Then I'm going to use hot glue as well to stick down that metal tag and then I flipped over the heart just to use the hot glue to stick down the um, the string on either side. Same thing with the girl hot gluing her to her spot <clears throat> and now I am going to paint her wings. I'm using grape jelly in the middle of her wings and I really wanted the edge the ends of her wings to be a little bit lighter just to give her a little bit of interest there so I've taken some of that purple away and then I'm going to use that same purple underneath on the wings underneath because she's got two layers there 
And then I'm using that same purple plus Sweet Plum on the small moths that are that you can see in the bottom of the screen there. So I'm putting the darker purple on the outside and then the Sweet Plum, I'm sorry, the dark purple on the inside, it's Sweet Plum on the outside. And then I also did that to her wings. So she's got a couple colors there. And then I'm using hot glue to stick down those moths. Uh, next, I decided that her dress needed to be colored, so she is going to have the Ladybug um, firework spray for her dress on the top. And then I also wanted her skin to not be stark white, so I used the Desert Sand, which worked really great. Um, I just put a thin coat down and, and brought up some of the color and then just did a little bit of shading. Um, with a little bit more of the desert sand just to give it a little bit more uh, So then I'm using Jane Davenport's white pearl It's like a metallic pearl kind of um, acrylic paint and I really just wanted to um, Put it behind those small moths because I felt like they were getting lost in the background They kind of are the same colors and I, I just wanted them to stand out a little bit So I painted a little behind them and then spritzed it with water so that it wouldn't be too obvious or too strong I just wanted some separation and Then I put a little bit more of that paint on the tips of the wings on the top uh, the top wing Next, I am using just a small piece of zipper and I'm gonna make a little rosette out of it. And please, if you're going to do this, be super careful. I don't wanna burn your fingers. Um, my fingers don't burn very easily anymore. <laughs> so this was no problem, but you could use a low temp glue gun. Uh, just be very careful. So I just rolled it into kind of a rosette and then I'm going to put the glue on the bottom of it and stick it down to add just a nice little touch to the bottom of her skirt. And then finally, I'm using that same pearl metallic paint from Jane and I'm covering the whole top of that metal tag and then I'm going to wipe away the paint that is on the top so it just stays inside the letters. So it helps you to read uh, that sentiment a little bit easier. So there's my final piece. Look at all the texture and color. I really love how this turned out and I loved making it. I hope you enjoyed watching this project and that you found some inspiration. And thank you so much for watching. For more inspiration, please visit imaginecrafts.com.